Right, so one of the things I like to do when I'm not breaking food processes and fixing other stuff is turn wood. And this is a little birdhouse I made years ago, which I will eventually find a spot for in the garden and put that up. However, one of the other things I like to do is make my own tools. And years ago I made these, these are little sanding mandrels get the idea they're quite handy for sanding small things and bowls and stuff that you turned essentially it's a sticky pad and uh, something to drive it with you can drive these from drills I normally use something that I modified which is this as you can see it's an old bench grinder and I usually use a flexible shaft it just helps you get around all the angles. There you go. A bit loud. But you get the idea. There is a I'll put a link in the video to my blog post that I wrote about these years ago for on how to make them. They're really simple. Anyway, I decided that it was about time that I made myself a little handheld holder for these and you can buy them that way. you can buy kits to make them you can buy them complete here it is the bowl sander or a little friction sander the idea being is is you put one of those in there as you can see there's a bearing bit of a wing nut do it up and there you go. Friction on the piece of wood you're turning makes that spin and you get your own little sort of rotary sander. Like I said, these are about 30 quid to buy. And I don't know how much the little sanding pads, discs are. Um, that's why I made my own. But this is a really simple thing to make. If I take it apart show you the rare various bits so to start off with i've got a bit of plywood which i've cut into d shape p shape b shape whatever a couple of ball bearings in now those came from one of these which is the wheel off a, an old roller blade I used a load of these a while ago as well to make a, a steady from a lathe. I'll put a link on for that as well if you want to go and read it. Um, and they work quite well. So what I've done is I've taken two bits of ply, stuck them together, the wood glue, left it to dry overnight, and then using a forstner bit, which is one of these little things here, I've made a hole for the bearings. The only thing is, is that I've got, I used a 20 mil forcing a bit, the bearings are 21, and I've got 20 mil forcing a bits or 22 mil forcing a bits. I don't have a 21 mil one. Um, so, what I had to do was once I'd made the hole for the bearings using my little rotary tool, I just made the hole just big enough so that you could push them in so they're a tight fit. So they're not glued in or epoxied in or anything like that that's just friction fit basically the handle it's fairly simple I turn this on the lathe um, out of an old chair spindle and then cut a notch out so that it fits onto the actual sanding pad holder and so that you can rotate it get different angles and then it's literally just a case of making a hole through that part. I've used a little carriage bolt and I've kind of, if you can see that, I've countersunk so that it sits in nice and flush. Handle fits on there. Using a bit of a washer and a wing nut. There you go, that's it. It bends. All different shapes, it's quite nice to hold. 
and that's it and then these the reason I made it like this but I've seen them built other ways is because I didn't want to change these if I'm honest these work for me and I figured the easiest way for me to make one of these and use these was to do it this way and then I can literally just do it like that on rotary sander and as it's a sort of quick change system I guess I can have different sanding pads on these and just literally change them when I need to and that's it really I've seen them made with various things I've got a where it is but somewhere in here I've got an angled drive a bit and I've seen people make them with those here it is so one of these you get the idea you can see it the thing with those is is if you've got spare driver bits which I'll be surprised if you haven't because most people have you can use those as the shafts, there you go, there's one for your sanding bits. So, all you'd need to do is make a hole, glue that in, and there you go. So, you could use one of those, but like I said, this works for me because I've already made my little sanding mandrels and I didn't want to change them. Plus, I'll probably find another use for that. So, that's that, really fairly simple um, I haven't included any measurements because again it's not that difficult to make as long as you allow for plenty of wood around the bearing because you don't want it shearing when you're using it and plenty of meat on these two bits of wood as well so you get a nice thing I wouldn't use pine for that for the handle or for that because it's a soft wood and it'll split so something like that is pretty ideal there we go. Simple, really. Right. Okay, so let's see if it works. Back in a minute. Okay, here's my trusty lathe. I've just got a bit of scrap wood in here. It's a piece of um, hardwood. Forget where it came from. So let's see if this sander works. You get the idea when it's spinning. Turn her on. pretty good to me and this seems to work really well so hopefully it will serve me for many years it's not the first tool I've made for for woodworking I've made quite a few of my own chisels as well sometimes I find you can make a tool that works better for you than you can actually buy one for so there we go Pretty simple really. Thanks for watching.